Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create ads using Facebook Power Editor. Power Editor is much more robust and powerful way to create ads. However, make sure that you understand and feel comfortable with regular ads manager before jumping into Power Editor. So the first thing you will need to do is to go into your Facebook Manager tools and find Power Editor under Create and Manage tab. Once you're in there, you will find a variety of tools. So we're going to create a campaign or you can select an existing campaign and duplicate it. But let's start from the scratch and create new campaign. So the difference between Power Editor and Ads Manager is that it allows you to create names for campaign ad set and ads before actually diving into it. Once you name your campaign, select your objective. For this one, we'll keep traffic, but you will be familiar with a lot of the options that you have in Power Editor. Now, name your ad set. And finally, your ad. Click Create to get started. So the first thing is we're going to select our campaign. We already have the name, objective and buying type. You can also decide on the limit you want to spend on this campaign, but again, it's optional. Click into ad set to get started on targeting and placement and budget. So you will see our ad set name here. Now we'll decide where we want to drive our traffic and whether it will be website or messenger or app. Next, you will see familiar budget and schedule specifications. Choose between lifetime budget and daily budget. So for this one, we'll keep the daily budget at $20 a day. And then we can schedule a start and an end date. Or we can choose to run this ad as ongoing until you go in and manually turn it off. But until then, Facebook will run this ad, so be careful. Next, we can go into ad scheduling and decide whether we want to run our ads at all times or run them on a specific schedule, which will allow you to select specific days of the week or times of the day when your ad will be running. Keep in mind, though, that ad scheduling only works with lifetime budgets. So if scheduling truly matters to you, make sure that your budget is turned on as lifetime. Now let's go into audiences. You should be already familiar with how to create audiences. We can either select predefined audience that we built before and saved using audiences in the assets tab, or we can create a new audience right now. First, select whether we want to use any of our custom audiences. And let's say we want to use lookalike of email list. Then we'll specify locations, age, and gender for our target audience. We can also specify the languages. And now we are ready to jump into detailed targeting. So for this ad, let's say we want to target people who are interested in entrepreneurship or small business and we want to narrow our audience down to make sure that they're also interested in social media marketing because that's what our service is we want to narrow it down further and select people who are interested in entrepreneur magazine For this ad, let's also specify connection type and exclude people who already like our page. When we are happy with the potential reach of our ad and the size of our target audience, we are ready to go into placements. We can choose between automatic placements, 
which will allow Facebook to run your ad across all of their platforms, including Instagram and audience network. Or maybe we want to edit placements and remove some of them from our placement. Let's say we don't want to advertise on instant articles or in right column. Now we can also specify mobile devices and operating systems. So let's say if we have an iOS app, then we would want to target only iOS devices. And let's say if we require a download of a huge file, we might want to check this option and show our ad only when people are connected to their Wi-Fi. We can also exclude categories for audience network and instant articles, or we can apply block lists for audience network. Next thing we want to do is to go into optimization and delivery and make sure that we optimize our ads for link clicks, impressions, or daily unique reach. Since this is a traffic objective campaign, we're going to keep it as link clicks. We can also specify bid amount to be automatic and let Facebook set the bid for us, or we can input manual bid amount. Each link click is worth to us. Finally, we can decide when we want to get charged based on impressions or link clicks are our options. And our choices for delivery type are either standard where Facebook will show your ads throughout the day or accelerated, which will show your ads as quickly as possible, meaning you will run out of your budget much faster. Finally, when you're happy with all the settings in Ad Set, scroll back up and click into Add. Now we're just gonna select the Facebook page and Instagram account we want to advertise as. And if you only have one account, that will be pre-selected for you. Choose whether you want to create an ad with a single image or video, or if you would like to advertise with multiple images or videos in carousel. So for this one, we'll just keep it simple and go with a single image. Click select image and find an image that you've already used or upload new image or find some stock images that you would like. Click confirm. Now for website URL, obviously insert the URL you want to send traffic to. In this case, I will just use homepage of my website, the social media current. You can also change display URL if you would like, but this is optional. Now we are ready to insert text. Now you can change the headline. And newsfeed link description. Finally, change your call to action button if you would like. Now also make sure that you're tracking all of your ads and conversions using Facebook Pixel. And your ad is ready. The beautiful thing about Power Editor is that you can create multiple ads and ad sets easily. So for example, you want to create more than one ad. Um, to say a b test different headlines or imagery you can click create ad and start with a new blank canvas that looks just like that or you can select the ad that you've already created and click duplicate and 
um, keeping the same campaign. Click Create. And as you can see, it's pre-populated. So now let's change the name to version 2. And let's say we only want to change the image to A-B test what works better for our audience. So now you have two ads with different imagery. You can also do exactly the same thing for ad sets. And that way you can A-B test different audiences, schedules, or budgets. You do it exactly the same way. Select an ad set that you would like to duplicate or create a new ad set in the same campaign. As you can see for this example, I created two ads that will be using the same settings from a single ad set. So the budget will be divided between the two ads. When you're happy with your campaign ad sets and ads, click the green button Review Changes. And you can see we created new campaign, new ad set and two ads. Click Apply. And you will see Facebook uploading your new campaign up here. And once it applies all the changes, Facebook will review your ad and start running on your schedule. To view analytics and edit ads, you can again go into Power Editor or those same ads will be available in Ad Manager.